Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing some exercise. We're going to do some quick fat burning, high intensity interval training. It's going to be fast, it's going to be furious. We're going to get it done together. You've got 10 exercises, 30 seconds each, two at a time, and a 30 second rest. So make sure that you're properly warmed up before you start. We're going to go straight into the routine. I'm going to assume that you're going to warm up. You can check out my warm up video if you're not sure what to do. I'll put a link down below. Also, it's a good idea to make sure that you've got some water with you to stay hydrated. It's only 10 minutes, but it's going to be intense. So do make sure you're ready and you're well hydrated, otherwise you'll find it much harder. Okay, we're starting off with some burpees into a star jump. Are you ready? Let's go. So legs out behind you, then a little start. Legs out, star jump. Legs out, star jump. Good. So it's like a half burpee and a star jump. Doing really well, keep that going. We've got about 10 seconds to go on this one. One more. Good, then we're moving on to some fast feet wide feet. So fast and wide. Fast and wide. Can you get those feet moving? Get those feet turning over. Fast and serious. Remember, fast and serious. And wide. Fast and wide. In, out, 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 out. Good. Make sure your tummy's nice and tight. Woo! Feeling it now. Already. Good, keep that going. About three seconds to go. One more in. Good. Take 30 second rest. I've got to grab some water. Make sure you do. Two. Then we're moving on to some forward and back frog dogs. So go to jump forward and then run back. Okay. Are you ready? We've got five seconds to go on this. Little rest. Let's go. Forward and back. Forward and back. That noise you can hear, by the way, is just my phone keeping time for the intervals. Just in case you wondered what that random sound was. Good. Really explode forward and then pull it back. Forward and back. Nice bone in your legs. You really want to those large muscle groups. One more of these. Good. And we're moving on to a vertical jump. So just straight up in the air. Nice bend in your legs. I've got a really low ceiling here, so I have to be really careful not to hit when we jump. So there's an excuse there. Just make it nice and easy. Still bend in your arms so you're not locking anything. Good. Keep really foot into the workout now. Okay. Little rest. Take 30 seconds. Grab a drink. And we're going to move on to some high knees and some buckets. So you move right up in the air, come up to waist height as you can. Remember, you can always do the alternative. You need to take the impact out of it. You just bring the knees up without the jump. So we're doing this. But if you need to, just bring the knees up like this. But come on, do as much as you can. Push us up. That's what it's all about. Get more than you did last time. Pushing that little bit harder. Progression. Doing really well. Nearly there. For about five seconds. And we're moving on to those butt kicks. Okay. Really get your heel up to your bottom. Good. Really work those legs. I've said this before, but it's great. Working those large muscle groups. Really burning tons of calories. And what you are after this, you're burning tons of calories. So the workout that keeps on giving. Doing really well. Just coming up for our rest again. Okay, good. Catch your breath. Grab some water. Now this next exercise is quite 
quite hard, I think. We're doing some high kicks. Your elbows in nice and tight. Do you really work in your core? And then kick those heels out in front of you. Right, you ready? Let's go. So really push on this one. So those heels up as much as you can. Again, if you need to take the impact out of it, you can. You're still working with the same muscle group. Muscle groups. Muscle groups. But really push. It's hard you can. We've got 10 seconds to go on this one. Come on. That's it. Keep that going. You can do it. Nearly there. Good. And then some over the river hop. So just going side to side. Bit of a recovery exercise. Arms out as well. Work it down. Feeling this now. I hope you are too. Okay. Just coming up for a rest. Much appreciated rest. Nearly there. Good. Catch your breath. And okay. then well, next, this is the last two exercises on this circuit. We've got some squat jumps. And then a squat hold. So a static squat. Okay, excuse me, just pulling my trousers up. Are you ready? Squat and jump. And jump. Good. It's a little bit like the vertical jump, but more of a squat. So you feel going right down to that squat position. So really working my legs. Good. Ten seconds to go on this run. In there. Five seconds. Okay, one more. And then hold that down there. Just gonna hold the squat. Nice and still. Really feel that <coughs> burn in your legs. Whew. Okay. Doing really well. Nearly there. Then we're taking another 30 second break. We're going back to the self hit. And that's it. We're done. That's your 10 minutes for today. Over and done with. Take that break. And we're ready for those burpee star jump combos. And see, that's it. If you just do 10 minutes a day, that will make a difference. To how you feel, how you look. It's such a good thing and it doesn't have to be a massive slog. Okay, ready? Down for those burpees. Let's go. Woo -hoo. Star jump. And down. Really get those legs out behind you. This is such a good exercise. It is evil, but it's totally worth it. Because you're really working this. That's it. Keep pushing. Another one. Got this fast feet, white feet, ready? Fast and wide. Fast and wide. Fast turnover on the feet. Really get those feet moving. This looks like it should be easy. But it's quite tiny. Feel everything wobble. That's how I judge it. Everything's wobbly. All the bits you don't really want to feel wobbly. They're all wobbly. But it means your feet are moving fast. Good, last time. And out. Okay, a little rest. Working hard today. Okay. We've got those forward and back frog jumps next. So really spring forward and then pull it back. We've got five seconds of your rest left. Get yourself ready. <coughs> Three, two, one, let's go. Forward and back. Forward and back. Doing really well. It's going to be over before you know it. Just going to keep pushing. 
you will feel brilliant at the end. Nobody ever felt worse for doing a workout. It's like that quote that we see flying around, like some guys used it on my Instagram. Okay, changing over to some vertical jumps. Uh, the quote that says, the only bad workout is the one you didn't do. Which is so true. So often, you don't feel like doing it. You just force yourself to start. It's totally worth it. Just keep those, keep those jumps in for three seconds. Two, one, good. Little rest. Okay, moving on to those high knees. Now remember you've got alternatives. You can use them. Five seconds. Ready? Three, <coughs> two, one. Let's go. Get those knees up. Really try and get much your hip height if you can. So with this one, obviously you're a bit of harder and getting your heart arms going. You're also really working your core and pulling your knees up. Hip flexors, which help with these core muscles. Leg muscles again, which you've already discussed. It's a good exercise. Embrace it. Okay, two, one, back kicks. So as you can see, really get your heels up to the bottom. Go back kicks. I don't know why. Do this after high knees, then it will feel as hard. So they're sort of enjoyable for that reason. For being not as horrendous as the previous exercise. Okay, nearly there. Ah, little rest. Okay guys, we've got those high kicks coming up. We're going to push through on this one. Hardest exercise, I think. So, really got to go for it. But then we're on the homeward run, the home straight, as they say. Okay, 10 seconds to go on your rest time. Really get those heels up, really work those hip flexors. Are you ready? Okay, three, two, one, let's go. Heels up. Good, elbows in. You're really working your core at the same time. Remember, you've got your alternatives. You need to take the impact out of it. Do, but really push. You only did 10 seconds of these last time. Try and do 15. You can get to 430. Then do it. Come on. Nearly there. You've got 10 seconds. Keep pushing. Five seconds. Four. Two. One. Good. Over the river. That's it. Catch your breath on this one. Can you get those feet out? Doing so well. Nearly there. Push you. Oh. Okay. So five seconds. Three, two, one. Good. Take a rest. Put two more exercises, and then you're done. down into it and up then you squat hold then that's it and cool down and you're free for the rest of the day okay ready squat and jump really down into it get that bottom out really work those glutes or those bottom muscles work those legs doing really well Last little push. Give me everything you've got. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Good. And then just hold. Hold that squat. Feel the burn. And so you feel your legs shaking now. Okay, it's just because they're working really hard. You're working really hard and you're doing so well. That's it. 
for our last 15 seconds. And let's push through this together. Nearly there, 10 seconds. You can do this, hold that squat. Breathe, concentrate. Three seconds, two, one. Ah, there we go. Really well done. Make sure you have some water. Make sure you cool down, because you link to my cool down below. Stretch. And really well done. Enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed, please do remember to hit subscribe so you can be informed next time I do a video. Okay. Thanks guys.